What is a plea agreement? I am so glad you asked. My name is Corey Scott and I am a criminal defense attorney here in Indianapolis, Indiana. And, you know, I know some people may think, man, everybody knows what a plea agreement is, but the, but the reality is there are a lot of people that don't know because I get this question quite often. So I wanna just tell you, walk you through it a little bit. And um, in the next video, I'll talk about the different types of plea agreements here in Indiana. So a plea agreement, of course, the second part of the name gives it away. It's an agreement. And the first part is the plea part. The plea part means that in, in any criminal case, you start off where there are charges that are brought. And at that very initial hearing, that first hearing, there's a question that, that is typically put to the defendant that says, hey, how do you plead? And you either going to plead guilty just off the top and say, I did it and confess or whatever, or you can say not guilty. And then the case proceeds on, you know, with the various discovery phases and everything that goes on with a criminal case and sometimes going up to a trial. Now, we know that upwards of 95 to 97 percent of cases at the state level are resolved by way of a plea agreement. And so a plea agreement is where instead of going all the way to trial and taking it before a judge or a jury and letting them decide whether or not I'm guilty or not guilty, I decide to sign off on something, an agreement, a plea agreement that says I'm accepting responsibility, I am pleading guilty. Now, in exchange for me pleading guilty, normally there, there are certain benefits involved with that. Let's just say, for instance, I was charged with five counts and I agree to plead to one count. One of the benefit of pleading or entering, entering into a plea agreement is that the state has the ability to say, OK, Mr. Defendant, you're pleading to this one count. In exchange for that, we will agree to dismiss the other counts. And so that's a benefit. Instead of having five convictions, you only have one conviction. Not only that, we will agree to some of the lesser charges as well. And so that's a benefit. And then the state can do other things. You know, they can agree to give you what's called a suspended sentence, which means that, you know, they take off the, the prospect of you having to go to prison and serve time and you know that on your worst case scenario you won't have to go to prison and all of your time can be you know served in the community and so what we call that process of arriving at those terms is called plea bargaining which means that you know it's a negotiation that goes back and forth normally you want to have an experienced defense attorney representing you and trying to get the best terms for you and of course the state is represented by a prosecutor. And so that, ladies and gentlemen, is a plea agreement. And that process is called the plea bargaining process. I hope that this video has been helpful to you. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. I'd be more than happy to talk to you. Until next time, remember, if you have to be guilty of anything, be guilty of greatness. Take great care.